Community colleges typically offer classes as stepping stones to work or transfer to a four-year college education elsewhere. But some in Texas want to offer their own bachelor's degree programs. I'm Craig Cohen. Today on Houston Matters, we learn more and discuss the role community colleges see for themselves in higher education. The Texas legislature is considering several bills that would make it possible for more of the state's community colleges to offer four-year degrees. Houston's Lone Star College is among those eager to see this come to fruition, especially if the college can offer bachelor's degrees for its nursing and applied technology programs. But some other community colleges are content with transfer programs and partnerships with area universities, which allow students to attend the college for one or two years and then transfer with credits in tow to the four-year institution to complete a bachelor's degree. Those are just a couple of the ways community colleges can serve their students. There are others, but what overarching role do community colleges see for themselves in higher education? Are they an alternative or a companion to four-year schools? And if they start offering more four-year degrees, could it lead to a reduction in two-year options for college-bound Houstonians? To talk about it, we're joined by Amos McDonald, Vice Chancellor of Lone Star College. Glad to have you with us. Thanks for having us. And we welcome your questions and comments about what community colleges Colleges offer and what they want to offer at 713-440-8870. You can email us at talk at HoustonMatters.org. Hey, Ms. McDonald, what exactly do some of these bills filed at the legislature call for? Well, really what we're looking for at Lone Star College is the ability to meet the demand that exists within the state of Texas, within Houston, and really more specifically within the Lone Star College service area. When we work with our industry partners, be they in the hospital or process technology or in any one of these areas, we sit and have conversations, learn about where the labor demand is, learn maybe where there are shortages. And around nursing in particular, we were having a conversation with some of our hospital CEOs talking about two new hospitals that are being built within about a mile and a half of our Montgomery campus. And they were talking about transferring nurses from the med center who may live closer to the Woodlands area or in the North Houston area who may want to avoid that commute going forward. And their inability to transfer because they're currently only associate degree nurses, not a bachelor of science uh, degree nurse. And when we then started looking at it, they were talking about the difficulty to get into some of the programs because of capacity, some existing capacity issues, as well as some of the programs that do have the ability to to get in are online only. And really looking for options at home, looking for things that maybe are a little bit more affordable to help advance the education, advance patient outcomes, to advance different opportunities. So when we really dug into the Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, it was a conversation we then sat and looked at and said, well, we've got the facilities in place already that are really top notch. We then are not constrained by a clinical space issue because clinical would have been taken care of already by the associate degree nurse program. And then we also then looked at cost. You know, can we do this without asking the state for additional funds? Can we do this for low cost? And can we maintain the quality and rigor that's required? And in nursing in particular, there's there's a test that they take in order to become an RN. And that test is the same exam, whether they come out as an associate degree nurse or a bachelor's of science degree nurse, they take the exact same NCLEX exam. And we looked at our pass rates. We looked at the rates that, 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 that come out across the state. And we're at 92% pass rate. So are you looking from the legislature for broader authority to offer those four-year programs? Are you really sort of saying, now, what what we'd prefer is to be able to target it. We see this one need for this one campus, and that's all we want. We are are very targeted on it. We're looking at need specific. Um, We hear the word mission creep come up a lot. And mission creep is not something we're interested in. We're not interested in becoming a four-year university. Um, we're interested in meeting the demand that exists within the community and looking for ways to help meet those those demands. And there's a capacity issue, there's a shortage issue, and it's something that we know that we can help meet with. And so specifically for us, it's the request for a bachelor's of science in nursing and a bachelor's in applied technology. Both of those degrees from our industry partners, we know there's a demand for those where either students are having a hard time transferring because there's a capacity issue, or perhaps with the Bachelor's of Applied Technology, for instance, there's a loss of hours being transferred over to universities in those programs. And we have tons of articulations, great partnerships with universities. Um, This is truly about adding to the the opportunity for our community and the opportunity for our nurses and for our, uh, our, those seeking the Bachelor of Applied Technology to have another opportunity close to home that's affordable, that maintains the rigor, and helps with the completion rates. This is Houston Matters. I'm Craig Cohen. We're discussing the role community colleges in greater Houston see themselves playing in the future. Amos, if you had the go-ahead to offer a four-year nursing or applied technology program, how soon would you seek to start it? 
So for us, there's a couple of components. We need to go and get accredited by SACS, go from a tier one to a tier two accreditation. That process could take 12 months. Um, realistically, we're probably looking at fall of 2018 um, to really get off the ground running with both of the offerings. And what? that would be the timing would just go incredibly well with the accreditation process with SACS, as well as working then with the coordinating board. Um, what impact would this have on tuition? None. None. We are you part of our commitment and part of our request and commitment to the legislators and to the state when we were talking about this has been we would keep tuition the same that you pay for your freshman, sophomore level courses. They'd be the same junior, senior level courses. So we'll be able to truly offer a bachelor's degree for less than $10,000. What about ancillary expectations people have of, of four-year programs that might be different from associate degree programs? Uh, you know, advisors, housing even, uh, you know, things that a traditional four-year school may offer may be different from what a traditional two-year school offers. Sure. And, and those bring costs with them. Is that part of the process you'd have to think about? Housing is not something that we currently have on any one of our campuses. Um, it's something that we could explore going forward. Um, but, you know, when we look at the community college schedule, we look at how things work and, and how we how our, our number one mission is to serve our community. Obviously, we generate a lot of funding through tax payers through a property tax. And so meeting the needs of the community are critically important. And so when we looked at building out these programs for us, it was about how do we meet the immediate need of the community and go and go and make those offerings and keep our cost as low as possible? And we've been able to look at how we do this, working with our partners in the community, several hospitals in the area to say, if we were to do this, how can we support this? How would this work? And so in looking at that, there, there's really not a need for us to make any changes um, going through this to meet those. There would be some hiring of additional faculty, of course, um, to meet some of the demand of the added students. But we're also not talking about a huge program, really, in either one of these. We're talking about maybe 100 students in our Bachelor of Science and Nursing program. Whereas today we know that there's 26,000 jobs, 27,000 jobs currently open for nurses in Houston, of which 13,000 roughly are asking for them to have a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. Amos McDonald is Vice Chancellor of Lone Star College. Up next, an area couple tries to preserve historic homes in one Houston neighborhood, one house at a time. Stay with us as Houston Matters continues.